Hello, this is Mark Gallucci with Digital Control Incorporated, and I'm going to show you a method of calculating drill depths using pitch data. Averaging pitch readings at the beginning and ending of each drill rod is one method used to calculate drill depths based on pitch data. For example, if the pitch reading after a new joint is made up is 17% and the pitch reading after that rod is drilled in is 8%, the average pitch of that rod is 17 plus 8 divided by 2, or 12.5% pitch. 12.5% would be the pitch value used in the mathematical formula shown below. So before we talk about this formula, you are going to need a scientific calculator. Most smartphones are preloaded with a scientific calculator. So the first thing we do is we load pitch in decimal form. Then you hit the inverse tangent button, converting pitch into degrees. You then hit the sign button. And lastly, multiply by length of drill stem. And that is going to give us our calculated depth change. This formula works for any length of drill stem at any pitch value. So here's our example. We're going to use a 180 inch drill stem or 15 foot. And we're going to use that same 12.5% pitch value. The first thing we do is reload pitch in decimal form. So we're going to enter 0.125. You now hit the inverse tangent button, converting 12.5% to 7.125 degrees. You now hit the sign button. And lastly, multiply by length of drill stem. If we're using inch as our measurement mode, we would multiply by 180 and that would give us a 22.32 inch calculated depth change. If we're using feet, I would multiply by 15, giving us a 1.86 foot calculated depth change. This formula also works with metric measurements as well. So here's an important note. It's a good idea to calculate depths every half rod or quarter rod for drill pipe greater than 10 foot in length and for rods drilled in with an average pitch change exceeding 5% to get more data points. More data points means a more accurate depth calculation. Now, I'm showing you this profile chart for one reason, because it has surface elevations. Knowing surface elevations allows for greater accuracy when calculating drill depths. Another thing to be mindful of, mathematical calculations cannot account for geological factors affecting a drill head's movement. Examples would include drilling into shelf rock, where X many feet or X many meters of drill pipe are installed, but drill depths remain unchanged because the drill bit is just sliding, just scraping along that hard layer. How about drilling in boggy material? You know, a drill head can actually get deeper at 0% pitch or maybe even pitch slightly up if the material is so soft that it can't support the weight of the drill string. All horizontal directional drill crews should have an understanding of how to calculate drill depths using pitch data. I hope this helps. Thank you.